dear friends i am going to discuss about culture yesterday i told you about the definition of culture and one of the theories which was initiated by w morgan the title of that theory was theory of cultural lag today i am going to discuss about a new theory very briefly that may let you understand the importance of culture and the changes of culture and society as well i told you earlier that what is culture culture is nothing but what man man creates whatever man is creating that is culture some of the creations can be touched and sensed and those are called material culture and some of the culture cannot be the creations cannot be touched and sensed those are told those are called non material culture that was described by william ogburn today i would like to introduce a new social scientist rather we should tell him social anthropologist leslie white he was a great and renowned social scientist particularly we know him as anthropologist he told that culture and society is always in flux why does culture gets changes what are the reasons behind it as we know when our ancestors were food gatherer they did not have any tools other than unsharp stone found in nature taking all those unsharp stones throwing it to the deers or buffaloes or the things that has to be hunted by killing that we could able to continue our livelihood so we could have the content the food by which we can continue our livelihood that was the life during the food gathering stage but some day we could able to understand if we can make an unsharp stone to a sharp one then very easily and within a short time and only few people can hunt the beast so we try to make unsharp stone sharp thus we could able to change our ability to hunt to a new stage we had only in the food gathering stage the physical labor the physical force we could only able to use physical force while we were in food gathering stage but by inventions of fire fire is a source of energy that is considered as the first revolution of human mankind this fire helped us in various way first of all in in food gathering stage we could only use our physical labor or physical force to hunt beast or to procure foods from nature but now fire has added 
using fire we could able to make kharpul hammer plow not only that by using fire we could able to cook the meat and other vegetables so life has become very easier than that of the past so fire has been added at that time with our physical force physical level so addition of fire helped us to live forward socially and culturally we could able to settle in a particular place particularly on the bank of the rivers we as because we could able to make plow we required to domesticate animals either horse or cows to make agricultural lol cultivation possible so we used to began cultivate uh, uh, domestication of animal so in the primitive stage in the food gathering stage we had only physical force later we added fire later we added domestic force beast force of beasts and after that we could able to invent so many sources of energies firstly coal then gas then electricity then uh, then uh, atomic energy solar energy wind current of the oceans and so on so long we have been able to add so many sources of energy it means we are changing the way we live we are able to change our livelihood we could able to change our way of lifestyle that is all about society and culture that is all about the change of society and culture so in fact society has been changing due to the changes of addition of sources of energies remember energy is a source of force it cannot change or modify the environment science is required and of course technology is also required if you do not have any hammer you cannot modify environment if you do not have any plow you cannot go for plantation or agriculture uh, to cultivate food or uh, paddy fields so we have to depend on uh, technology as i told you earlier technology is a material culture so we have to invent we have to advance material culture but it depends on the sources of energy if there would have no energies sources of energies we could not be able to proceed our society and culture think about it right now the whole of civilization is dependent on energies sources of energy electricity is one of those think about it if we forget the usage of energies at least for some days what will be happen to our civilization the whole civilization will just get collapsed 
because the electricity we have forgotten the usage of electricity so without the usage of electricity we cannot run our economy we cannot continue our livelihood we cannot continue education we cannot continue anything business and trade for a single day even so we are in a trap the trap is a technological trap we have to depend on technology we cannot go backward so lesley white told that the social and cultural change depends on the changes or additions of the sources of energy as we are adding so many energies one by one so we are changing our society and social system and culture as well this way society gets changes if we forget to add the sources of energy the culture and social change will just stop there so he tried to make a, an equation that is all about c equal to t into e what does it mean e means sources of energy t means technology e or t by right? sources of energy should be added and technology should be applied or technology should be advanced using sources of energy we can get changes of culture or society so social change means changes of technology and additions of energies thus we can say Leslie White is a technological deterministic. Basically, he said, without technology, society cannot progress. Culture cannot change. So technology is required. We have to introduce technology. We have to apply it to make our life comfortable. thus we can change our way of life our culture and our society this is the basic idea of lesley white i have told you in a brief you have to if you want to get more information you have to go through articles written by lesley white now in addition to lesley white's interpretation we must say one thing more though that was not told by mr white technology the inventions of technology and application of technology somehow pollutes the environments it might have it should have an impact on human health every technology should have some side effects either on environment or on human health this is in a inevitable you cannot make it zero but we have to try to understand what sources of energy or what sources of technology may harm human health in a in a uh, rather you should say we can reduce the uh, application of technology by which the human's health health can be harmed in a very very low impact in a low impact so just think about it uh we have to apply such technology which will have lower impact very uh, very uh, nominal impact on human health uh, and very little impact on the environment we have to 
thing for such technology. So how can we get it? Sources of energies are of two types. Number one, renewable sources of energy and non-renewable sources of energy. Renewable sources of energy which are huge number in the natural world. Think about wind, the sun ray, solar energy, oceans, oceans uh, wave. This will never be emptied. So these are renewable sources of energy. And most of the cases we have found that sources of renewable energy, if you we use it, it will have almost zero impact on our environment and human health. But non-renewable sources of energy like coal, gas, oil, and so many other things, if you use it, it will pollute the environment and the human health as well. So, the scientists now are prescribing to go for the usage of renewable sources of energy. So, we have to reduce the usage of non-renewable sources of energy as low as possible. Number two, technology. We can make technology or we can reduce the pollution ability of technology to some extent. But we cannot make it zero. Think about hybrid technology, hybrid car. It will have the ability to reduce the usage of oil and it will use the electric power while the car is stopped particularly in a, uh, in, a, in a traffic light. So this is all about eco-friendly technology. You can reduce the pollution by using the technology. We have to do that. We have to go for such technology. And not only that, there are so many technologies right now are being invented which may be termed as eco-friendly technology. Most of us we have been using computers. Compu by using computers you will have some impact on your health. You have to suffer eye irritation. You have to suffer some sort of, uh, some sort of diseases of nervous system. You, even you can get paralyzed due to carpal tunnel syndrome and these are to be addressed by the inventions of technology, eco-technology. So newer keyboard has been invented, newer mouse has been invented, the monitor and edge screen has been intended, invented. And not only that, at the same time, you have to go for some physical exercise after usage of computers for three or four hours. And you should not sit in front of computers more than three hours. You have to keep break. You have to go for an exercise of eye, eyeballs, and of your physic. So these are the way by which we can get rid of, of get rid of polluted environment and we can make our health sound and healthy so that's all about today's lectures if you do have any question let me know i hope to say it later i hope to make you understand later okay thank you very much